Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus here to walk you through our August 2017 release. Let's get started. We have a smaller release this month, but there's still some standout features. First up is this month's headline feature. We've added the option to deploy to SSH deployment targets, like Ubuntu or macOS, without the need to install Mono. This is utilizing the latest Microsoft.NET Core 2.0 preview, and we'll take a look at this a little bit later. Next, we've upgraded our script CF support to the latest version, bumping it up to 0.17.1, which is a nice update for everyone who is writing custom scripts using C Sharp. This includes some minor breaking changes, so it's important to review our release blog post at octopus.com slash blog for more information. We've added a new Okta authentication provider for those of you using this service. Thanks to Brent Montague for submitting a PR to add this support. It's a great change. We've also shipped an update to the Let's Encrypt integration for Octopus Server, as there's been a change in their API, so we're shipping a fix for this in this release. Finally, we've included a few smaller fixes, so again, be sure to check our release blog post for the full details. Now, let's take a look at monolith deployments. So we're going to take a look at how you can deploy your apps and services to platforms like Linux or macOS without the need for Mono. Now, Mono is a great thing. It's an open source implementation of the .NET framework for platforms other than Windows. And Octopus took advantage of this to make it easy for Calamari, our deployment engine, to run on these other platforms. Unfortunately, some of our customers couldn't install Mono because of security policies or corporate policies. But with the introduction of Microsoft's .NET Core 2.0 framework, it's now possible for us to ship a bootstrapped or self-contained Calamari, so deployments to these platforms is easier than ever. So I have a local Octopus instance running, and it's very simple. It has a single project and a single environment. And if we take a quick look at the project and its deployment process, it's called OctoFXJS, and it has a single step called Deploy Website. This will deploy a Node.js application. If we take a look, you can see it's deploying a package, and it runs a post-deployment script to set up our process manager, and it's also doing some variable substitution. And if this isn't familiar, this is just based on our Node on Nix deployment guide. This was written when we first added support to deploy to SSH deployment targets. And it takes you through creating a demo project, configuring your first Linux deployment target, etc. And so I just followed that guide to create this project. If we take a look at our environments, we have a single server that's tagged with a Linux role. It's an SSH deployment target, and now you can see there's this new .NET Framework section. This section lets you specify which version of the .NET Framework that Calamari, the Octopus Deployment Executable, will use to execute your deployments. The first option is Mono Installed, and this is where Mono is installed on your target server. But now you can say Mono is not installed, and this will use a self-contained version of Calamari built using the Microsoft.NET Core 2.0 framework. And so if we jump back and actually take a look at this server, it's actually just a VM, and it's a brand new clean Ubuntu 16.04 LTS VM. And if I just log in, I've got a command prompt here. I just type mono, you can see it's telling me that mono is not installed and I can contact my administrator to uh, have that done. So if I jump back to my project, create a release, I'll call it 1.0.0, my first release, save that, deploy that to prod, my prod environment. This will acquire the package, and this will also push my self-contained Calamari to this target server and deploy my website. So if I go to another tab where it hasn't been loaded, 
and just fire this up. We can see that the website was deployed successfully and this was deployed to a Linux box that does not have mono. Personally, I think this is a really exciting feature because it makes it very, very easy to now deploy to Linux and Mac platforms without, the, without any additional dependencies. So if you've got projects, mixed projects that deploy Linux, Java, etc., you can now deploy to these other platforms very, very easily. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try something mentioned in this video, head over to octopus.com slash downloads and grab the latest release. See you next month and happy deployments.